Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review on 20th Anniversary Transformers Collection number 11, Astral Train. Let's take a look at it. Hey, it's kind of neat. I have both uh, G1 and the Transformers Collection version. I like the white version. Oh, it's more pristine to me. It looks nicer. <laughs> Probably hasn't been out of the box. Here's a little anime uh, or manga, whatever you want to call it. It comes with, I like the collection boxes because you can open it up, you can see that. It has pages, shows you Astro Chain here, what it says here. TF World Card, number 11, whatever. Okay, bio. For those of you can read Japanese. <laughs> cool, Cyclonus, Scourge, all the cool people there. Octane, uh, Dirge, I forgot, Thunder, no, I forgot it. Whatever, Scourge, Thir Ramjet, Scour I don't know, Scourge, I don't know. Megatron, yeah, G1, ugly. Hey, that's cool, man. There's good old freaking Devastator harassing people. I like that, man. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. All right. Okay. Yeah, got more Predacons, which I did a review on. Power Glide, which I happened to buy a G1 Power Glide. Yeah, Power Glide. Yeah, if you remember G1 Power Glide, there it is. Cool. Jaguar. Ravage. Yeah, neat. Da, 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 da. There's Ravage. Kind of, it's a, it's a cool homage, you know. You can see the packaging right here, back in May. And yeah, see, the American mode is weird. It has that purple color. And, and I'll transform both so you can see. It actually had the gray, the gray version. So this is the white version. This is what it looks like. So it's Triple Changer. Comes in that neat little package, Decepticon. The only cool faction. Yeah, it comes with a lot of junk, as you can see. Collector card, and uh, if you, I don't know if you can make that out. Cool, man. Let me show you the little extras. I like it because the box is cool, man. You got instruction sheets, which take you about two seconds, and of course a sticker sheet. No, uh, what do you call that? I forget what it's called. All right, I have both, so you can see. It's G1, G1 on the right. A little dusty and old and yellowed a bit but you can tell I like purple's cool I love purple but it turns into a black train so this is a lot more black and white see it was made in if you that zooms in and there is it Hasbro 85 Let's see if it has the same thing yep Hasbro 85 so yeah if Takara told me or back when it was just Takara so yeah it has both of them made in China back in the day it was made in Japan how cool is that <laughs> let's transform this as a triple changer I like the white or this mode it's neat this is the best of the three modes no doubt I like the space shuttle mode even though the extras are apparent but it looks good he got the little robot thrusters over here even the white paint man that's kind of neat so white paint on the top I never noticed that before it's a lot new cool looking things I noticed so yeah, you got the train panels, the steam diesel locomotive, the rub symbol, Decepticon, so it's kind of neat. I like the die cast, I really like that. It's really sleek from the bottom, so. Hey, this is the best mode, no doubt. Eight out of 10, <laughs> not gonna lie to you. So let's go ahead and, oops, transform them into a locomotive. And of course, I'm just popping that up. You can see the head kind of sparse on the color here. Pop the car, the wings down. It's kind of, as you know, Space Shuttle no longer exists. Quite a shame. Ooh, paint apps. Flip those down. Put that down. Yeah. And, oh yeah, open up these. All right. Did a kind of a, not a great job at hiding the white. So, yeah, it's definitely not my favorite mode over here. Both modes roll. I forgot to show you that, but really steam locomotive it, it looks uglier even though it's nice brilliant white shiny black yeah wish I had more hide the white better basically it, it is what it is it's ugly in that sense it, it, I mean it's accurate <laughs> so yeah I'll give it a 6 out of 10 for that mode and transforming them back to robot mode isn't ex exactly difficult so we're just gonna pop them pop these panels out oh yeah Pull the legs out. Yeah, which really is a misproportion mess. He has tiny stubby arms too, man. 
Yeah, that was it. Oh, yeah, it also comes with this humongous gun. It's kind of cool. But look at these stubby arms, seriously? He's like a T-Rex. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. I'm going to go transform this bad boy here so you can see a nice little juxtaposition. I love that. Oh, yeah, I forgot to split that. So you can juxtapose and make fun of or whatever. I didn't put the stickers, you know. I I, I am I'm holding out because I'm a purist in that sense. Yeah. I'm a purist. Ugh, gosh, this one is tough. But yeah, maybe if I maybe I'll just leave him like he is. So yep, yeah, there we go. Play that out. Yeah. After a few years of you know, not being transformed, it's difficult. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. <laughs> hey, there we go. So, yeah, you can kind of tell the difference here. But let me put this. He, he's the main man right here. <sighs> I hate the stubby arms. I really do. Yeah, articulation, forget it. Let's see. G1 had better looking paint apps. This one not as much. Let's see if it can focus on that. That's not bad. I mean, it, hate to tell you that term. It is what it is. But you know, arms rotate. That's it. Nice little ball joint. I think. Yep. Yep. Ball joints over here. So that's it. Big huge gun. And that's it for articulation. Seriously. Another brick. <laughs> uh, Five out of ten. Here's a size comparison. Holy cow, he's scout sized. <laughs> That's another thing. Here's G.I. Joe. That's a true scout right there. So yeah, he's tiny for a deluxe class. Alright, YouTubers, that's all I got. I'll catch you all next time.